I'm Becca from the Meridian Craft Warehouse and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little gnome palette um, with the Tula and Norbert Sweet as Honey collection from Photoplay. Very cute. And also the Leisure Arts uh, Wooden Gnome Kit. Everything you see here comes in the kit. Today we're going to do the girl. So this is the uh, body for that. You get six hats, all these accessories. You also get a stand if you don't want to put it on the board. The boy one right here, I did so you could interchange the hat and the things that are on his hands and the sign. And then with that, you just use the Velcro for it. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start by painting the gnome. We need a couple colors here. We need the flesh color. This is the white for the sign and the black for the sign. And we need yellow for her little tights. So we're gonna start by painting the face and the hands and the legs. So first I'm gonna take the little hat that comes with it make like a little guide so I know about where that is there. And I'm gonna take my dress template so I know about where the head's gonna be. I'm just gonna continue that on like so. And I don't have to worry about that. I'm just gonna paint that yellow like there. And ta-da, that's what it's gonna look like. This is the right way right here. So the hair is going to be here, and I've got the yellow right there. So let me show you how to make the template for the clothes. I'm just going to put this on some scrap cardstock and trace it. I don't need to trace the hands or the feet. Right there. And I'm going to take this and kind of pretend that's where the face is going to be. going to look like. That's what you'll pick the paper you like. Now do the shoes real quick. What I do, I'm just going to do one. Let's get the, uh, I'm going to get the flat side of the paper here. Now this comes with a stand, but I'm going to mount it to a pallet board, so I'm just going to cover up the little notches there. Put that right on there. I'm gonna make a little mark. I wanna put my little strap here. Mark here. And I'm only gonna do one because then I'm just gonna flip it over so they're going to be pretty equal. And it covers up the little notch. You have to cut a little bit here. And there's your template for that shoe. Let me cut the other one. Flip it over like so. Like that. Okay, you want to stop that? So now that I've got my templates made, I just pick the paper I'd like, traced it, and cut it out. So there's the little dress for that. And the apron is just something that I just try to make it fit over the dress like so. Except I kind of left the straps a little longer so I could just trim them as I make sure that they fit. There we go. There's the apron. 
got two little pockets here that are just gonna go like so. The shoes, I already showed you how I did the shoes. Just cut out two of those. And then the hat is just tracing it on to the paper you want, you like with the uh, hat that comes with it. And then you're just gonna glue it all together. So now we're gonna put the hair on. I've already done half of it. I'm using the DMC floss and I used two pieces um, I kind of like the DMC floss because you can, there's a big variety of the uh, hair colors or you can use the yarn, any yarn. I just kind of like the, uh, and it's kind of already in a little section. I'm just going to cut this like so. I've already cut that. Kind of fan it out a little bit. Oh, and remember you're going to braid it, so try to get it as straight as you can. And I'm just going to use hot glue. Oh, and you need one piece that you're going to tie right around here. So I'm going to put one piece aside. And I'm using the hat as a guide. So I want to cover up that part. Remember, that's where we painted up to that line. So right about there. I'm trying to get it as straight as I can. And I kind of want to cover up this part here because that just happens to be the, the shape of the hair that they made it. glue around there. I'll do this. Try to get it best as you can here. That looks good. I have to might be some stragglers that aren't connected there. And then you just kind of have to come through it. Yeah, like that guy there. I combed it out. Actually, you're gonna put like a little, take one of your pieces here, and make like a little ponytail first up here. I kind of want to poof it a little bit so it could cover up that. And I'm going to turn that to the back. That looks good. And then you're just going to braid it loosely. So we want about the same as the others. Oops. That sounds about right. looks pretty good. I'm just going to tie a knot. I'm not going to make a bow. Let's trim it. And there's that part of the hair. We have to open a little bit here. There we go. 
There we go. So next we're gonna cut the wings. I already have one set here. I just have a piece of light vellum that I folded in half. I have my little template here. And again, I always cut on the inside of the line, then I don't have to erase any lines. And I get two cut at the same time. There we go. So I've got these two here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda lay them down here. Get a little bit of tape. Let me see if that looks good. I'm gonna put the tape upside down. where I want it. Right about there. Then I can just come back and tape it just so before I... Okay, there are the wings. I've got the hat. I've already put a little bit of hot glue on the back to hold it. I'm gonna take my sticker sheet and I think I want these right here, this one right here. There are pop dots here. So I think I gotta put a little one. I'm trying to avoid the knot there, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to peel this off. I'm gonna see where the, how this looks. Which that looks good. So the knot is gonna be right in between that. There we go, there's the hat. Okay, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna glue this down. So the trick is, there's the head right there, you wanna make sure you're covering that. If you go too low, you'll see the head. So we want it right about there. So I'm just gonna put here. The nose. Make sure I put it on the right side. Put it right up against the hat. Okay, that. Okay, next we got to get the little bee on there. Uh, I like him. He's cute. about there. That looks good. Right about there. And there's that part. So next we're gonna do the little sign. So I've painted this white and I'm just gonna take a pencil Make it the same thickness all the way around. And then paint the inside black, like so. I've already put my jute on there. And then I'm taking a Posca marker. And I'm using gold. I'm just gonna write my, whatever I want. You could use a chalkboard paint if you want and then change it, but I know I'm not gonna change this. I just wanted to always say this. So, I'm just gonna tie it here. 
set and I'm gonna figure out where I want it. I don't mind the little wings going off the side. I think it looks cute. So I'm just gonna figure out where I want it. That looks good there. I'm just gonna hot glue it all together. I don't think the hat's gonna touch any, but. She's level. Yep, there we go. I'm going to figure out where this guy is right here and just put a little bit. Dab of hot glue right there. And pull it taut so it looks like it's hanging. Give it there a few seconds. And that's it.